What's going on in Calgary? I know that I heard about the, the water feeder breaking, but they say it's now going to take three to five more weeks to get it fixed. Let's have a look here at this video, just a quick video from CTV covering this, and then we'll talk about it more like, uh, like usual. I know it's hard, and I know you've already given up a lot, and the thought of three to five more weeks is almost unbearable. Weather restrictions in Calgary have been extended and could last for another five weeks. This comes after further examination of the water feeder main break. Robot scans showing additional issues which need attention. In an update late Friday afternoon, Calgary Mayor Jody Garnick saying five additional sections of the pipe need repair, resulting in a lengthier delay. While this will delay the length of time for repair and restoration of water service, and I know that means asking all of us to keep our water use lower than usual, it also means that we have identified potential issues that could have led to another unexpected break. Officials say it's important to make the repairs of the additional sections while the water is off and the pipe is exposed. With the experts looking into the repair, calling it the most dramatic and traumatic break of the feeder main they have ever seen. The hot spots cannot safely withstand the amount of pressure we need to run through the feeder main. This means that if we were to complete current repairs and restore the water feeder main now, it would be at high risk of additional catastrophic breaks. The risk is simply too high. This pipe is only at the halfway point in its life cycle. From all accounts, this should not have happened, but it did. We are still working to understand the why. But now today, we have to focus on how to continue to function while we begin the long-term plan to repair the pipe. The later timeline for repairs also means the water emergency could extend through the Calgary Stampede. Henry saying it's too early to determine what the new developments mean for restrictions on the 10-day event that kicks off on July 5th. The city adding that crews will continue to work around the clock in an effort to restore normal water service as soon as possible. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News. So that's interesting, right? I mean, you know, they go on to say, you know, we don't know why, but we need to, the why is important. Yeah, I would say the why is important. How did this happen? Right. And the other question I have is, like, is this is this normal for there to be one uh, water feeder main to supply that many people? Because it seems like the whole like the whole city like has to basically stop using water. Is, is that correct? Like, is that normal where that many is that many people's water would depend on one feeder? Like, is that kind of strange that sounds a bit strange to me I, but again I, I don't live in calgary i just wanted to cover this because i know a lot of you do live in alberta and calgary specifically and you know my question for you is you know what do you think happened you know what what caused the damage why is it taking so long and why are so many people dependent on one water feeder main i think those seem like legitimate questions right and i don't think that calgarians are getting the answers that they deserve so Again, you know, if you're from Calgary, please let me know what you think in the comment section. Because I, when I first heard this a week and a half ago, I was like, oh, wow, that's terrible. Well, hopefully they get that fixed soon. Apparently it'll be done in a week. Okay, good. And now it's going to take even longer. Like they're originally saying it's going to take, you know, one or maybe two weeks. And then now they're saying it's going to take three to five weeks. Where have we heard that before? We need two weeks to flatten a curve and then all of a sudden it was two more years. Now, I'm not saying they're going to make Calgary, Calgarians go two years without water, but it is interesting that the government kind of keeps doing this, where they say, oh, don't worry, guys, you know, one or two weeks, flatten the curve, or to just, you know, stop using so much water, and then now they want to continue it for three to five weeks because they can't get it fixed because they discovered more cracks. Okay, and then are they going to discover even more? Are they ever going to find out what happened? Not to be a conspiracy theorist here, but you know it, it does seem a little bit suspicious when they say, if the experts say, hey, it's going to take this long to get it fixed, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh no, sorry, it's going to take four times longer than that. Right? If you take your car to a, to a mechanic and he says, hey, I'll have this done in a couple of days, and then the next thing you know, it's like, oh, sorry, it's not going to be done for a couple of weeks, that would be abnormal. And when something's abnormal, it creates suspicion, curiosity, and yes, of course, conspiracy theories. But if you guys have any information, please let me know. I'm very curious as to see, you know, as I said, why this happened, 
Why is it taking so long? And why are so many people dependent on one water, uh, water, sorry, one of the feeder mains? So let me know what you think in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.